Robot, if you're coming into the building, if you're new to the channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell. We are about to crack heads and twist caps. This is Across the Burning Sand. We're going to roll that intro while we give them time to get in the building. Young L on the beat. Robot, like we said, if you're new to the channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. We are about to crack heads and twist caps. We're going to get right down into it, right? And start breaking this down. Like I said, who else is doing it? Who else is doing it, man? Okay, let's get to this file. Bad with us. All right, let's get into it, man. We we're talking about tonight who are the Hyksos. Now, keep in mind, we already know who the real ancient Egyptians are. And keep in mind, we didn't call ourselves Egyptians, really, because Egyptians really are the Greeks. It applies, it's a really, um, um, they, um, like I said, we're going to keep it clean, YouTube, right? We're going to keep it clean and crispy, and we're going to follow the YouTube guidelines here. Uh, okay, so the original ancient Egyptians, we didn't call ourselves Egyptians because it applies, it means burnt face. It's like a taunt of uh, the kids, the little kids in ancient Kemet made fun of these or Cajuns are these Hyksos who would come into, we call them Tamahus. There was another name that we referred to them as Tamahus, right? When they came into ancient Kemet, they had, uh, they inherited a burnt face. So we call them uh, Egyptos, burnt face. So we didn't refer to ourselves as uh, ancient the Egyptians, but we are the real Egyptians. Keep that in mind, because we got to use that word to uh, because that's the way they formulated the thought pattern over here in the Western Hemisphere, right? But the original ancient Egyptians are one tribe 
is the Afar people. The Afar. You already know about the Afar, right? This is what they look like. They still over there in ancient Kemet right now. Keep in mind, Ethiopia, Sudan, Nubia, all the way down to now. It's inclusive with uh, ancient Kemet. Right? And this right here is Inky side. We're about to get into Inky side of the family. Okay? All right. So you see what they look like. These are the Afar people. Imhotep. Mother was a far. His dad is Inky. And Hote is Inky's son. Inky becomes Pata in ancient Kemet on the one uh, name. Right, it's what a far, the far people look like. These people actually got the Hindu mix in them. Right? Let me get a drink of water. They actually got the Hindu and mix in them. Check this out right here. That's what they look like. All right. We, so in one name that we refer to this land as is ancient Kemet. Akuba land. Uh, Tamaray. Right? The land of the blacks. Right? Okay, we're gonna get into uh Akmos and Kogmos. We got we gotta build it up to who are the ancient uh, Egyptians. Like keep in mind we already put a whole tape out about this of who are the ancient Egyptians. Keep in mind another fraction of the real ancient Egyptians are the people of that land. One group is called the Dogon people. <coughs> One group is called the Dogon people. Right. Keep in mind the Dogongs uh said that they was in contact with extraterrestrial from uh Cyrus B. Right? That's connected. Keep in mind another fraction of the ancient Egyptians are the Twa Man. The four original species of Earth, like the Twa Man and the Sands Man. They were the, like the South south part or the uh, upper part of ancient Kemet. Some of the oldest people on the planet. Really the, the oldest people. Uh, besides the Twi, the Sands man, and look at it, they light-skinned it. So a lot of you are not light-skinned it because you got Caucasian and you, you light-skinned it because you got Sands man. The Sands man. You could be coming from the Sands man. So they, they inclusive with the ancient uh, and ancient Kemet. Also, the uh, the Nubians, the, the ones that were mixed with the Inky bloodline or the Anarchy bloodline, right? The uh, the Bantu people, right? Who were mixed in with uh, the Anarchies, these people were also classified as ancient Egyptians. We'll get to the Mantu art form, all right? So, these these uh, Afar people and these Bantu people, they were warriors, uh, like assassins. These uh they called the Magis. They were uh, assassins for um the, they worked for the Twa, right? They guarded, they protected the Twa, right? And these people trained day and night. They really like the first uh, like Navy SEAL type guys, right? These uh warriors. All right. So it's a fall. You see what you see, you can see the connection. You see the hairstyle, you see uh, they still practicing the same types of hairstyles over there today. Okay. So keep in mind, this land right here they call in Palestine. See, it was called Palestine at first. Then, if you look at the dates, hold on. All right, so in 1946, before uh, they used Adolf Hitler, to uh, get justification from the UN for the, whole, the uh, Jewish Holocaust so that they could claim this land. And then in 1946, they began starting to infiltrate and, and get this land, but it was already, it's Palestine. And keep in mind, the Palestine, the Palestinians are ancient Egyptians. They're not the people they showing you today that's Palestinians. They really was the Afar people that had that control this land. The Afar people are descendants of the, the real ancient Egyptians of Mizraim and Kush. They control this land. 
and then so uh they use the camera man it's, it's camera gem uh camera camera genocide and paper genocide to wipe wipe the people off this land man so you notice after 1946, once the UN, they began taking more and more of the land and pushing these people off of their land to where they, the same thing that happened over here in America with the uh, Seminole Wars and all that. So understand it's going on all around the world where these people are taking their land. Look at that. So Palestinian becomes smaller and smaller to where they almost wiped them out. Now it's, it's by 2012, it's Israel, the whole state of Israel. This was not called Israel before 1946. It was called Palestine. See? That's the game. Okay? So so uh, the Israelites, the real Israelites are the fall people. Now we can get into, we're going to do a little uh, biblical connection too before we go into uh, who these people are. I right, keep in mind, let's make the biblical connection with you, with my biblical guys, right? Now, keep in mind, this ain't religion. Like a lot of the uh, the, the Old Testament, really not religion. It, it's 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 really contracts made with God, with inking them, in them, and they bloodline, right? Now, when we get into the New Testament, that's when we go into sun, uh, astronomy. It's a little astronomy in the Old Testament, but it's really about bloodlines in the Old Testament. Then when you get into the New Testament, we go into the Dogong, no most teachings about the sun of God and the sun working around 12, 12 star constellations. We get into that part. And uh, it's a lot of astronomy in the Old Testament, too, but it's really dealing with bloodlines of Enki and Enlil. All right. So in Genesis chapter 5, verse 32, it says, And Noah was 500 years old, and Noah begot Sham, Ham, and Jeffrey. So he he had them all in one year. They were all triplets. They was all born when Noah was 500 years old. So they were triplets, Sam, Ham, and Jeffrey. Right? This is Genesis chapter 10. So Ham had four sons, Foot, Mizraim, and Cush. Keep that in mind. And the Kushites are the Ethiopians, right? The Mizraims were the ancient Egyptians, and the foot is the Libyans and the Canaanites. The Canaanites, the who went to go live in the lowland, right? This way. Now they, the, these Canaanites are saying that this was originally this uh, Israel was originally a land uh, at first, coming from Canaan, right? All right. So the Kushites. The Somalians, Ethiopians, this is what they look like. The Kushites. Right? The father of uh, Nimrod. Nimrod was of these people, the Somalians. Right? Okay, you got Foot, which is the Libyans. That's what they look like. These are the sons of Ham. Keep in mind, Noah was Enki's son. So Sham, Ham, and Jeffrey will be Inky's grandson. Sam, Ham, and Jeffrey will be Inky's grandsons. I mean, uh, no, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. And then Foot and them will be the great grandsons. Foot, uh, Mizraim, they'll be the great grandsons of Inky. So these, uh, the Libyans are Inky seed, right? These, uh. Mizraim is inky seed. Right? We got to break it down because uh, Tehudi say, don't neglect the Bible, people. Make sure we keep tying it all in together so everybody can get it. So we got to tie it in together. Now, keep in mind uh, what happened with Noah when he got drunk. Noah is inky son, Utna fish tomb. Right? He, had a, he also got another name uh, that they refer to him as. Uh, in the um uh, and anarchy text right but he had his his fourth son was named canon ham right and his he was cursed with uh leprosy what they would term ter back then is leprosy but it really was albanoism we know it today is albanoism where they are born from amongst dark-skinned people and they come out with uh blonde hair 
right? And blonde eyes and light color eyes. They lack in the melanin and the pigment. Right, and it, and it mentions of it in Leviticus chapter 13, verse 30, where it says, Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it's in a sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. So they had, because these beans are born with yellow uh, hair. Right? Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a dry scab, even a leopard's. Leprosy is from the uh, leopards, it's like from spots, and rose is like red spots because some of these beans, uh, the sun, they get these, uh, burn them and they get these red spots. It says up on the beard. So they grow yellow beards, these uh, cannon, canonites. And if you, if you go and read Leviticus, it also goes into that it was a curse on cannon because of Ham uh, looking at his father, Noah. In the wrong way. We got to keep it clean. Right? And so these beings are born amongst us out of the different species, the albino gene. See, these, these are different types of albinos. Right? Like, so it's canning right here in the middle. Then you got like a, this dude right here, like a frugalord. Right? Then you got Ethiopians. Then you got Chinese albinos, African. Albinos. Then this brother right here with the red hair, like the uh the eye. But look at the texture of the hair. See these beans over here. You can tell the difference between the ones that's uh Canaanites and the ones that's not. All right. So you notice know, Cannon was still a Nubian brother, but he was just albino, right? So he had the woolly still the woolly hair. Now look at this brother. Look at his hair texture. How you can tell who the Canaanites are. So when the, if the people Owen, oh, uh some of the, the Jewish people, we're gonna show you they got this texture hair. The people that saying they Jews, they Canaanites, and some of them got this texture hair, right? Now the ones that got this texture hair, they ain't really the real ones. The real ones, the real Canaanites, has got this texture hair. Like this dude is a real Canaanite, right? These dudes right here are real Canaanites. All right, so we're gonna break that down, but look at all the different types of albinos. All right, you got the Amorites because, uh, keep in mind, Cannon uh, had 11 sons, so still, Cannon is still a grand great great grandson of Inky. Keep that in mind because he's Ham's son, Ham is the great grandson of Inky. Keep that in mind, so the Canaanites are descendants of Inky. The real Canaanites. All right. So um, the uh the um the Amorites, this is what they look like. And they uh, they live in this area. Cannon also had sisters that he married. Like this one had like a uh dark hair. This one had like a red hair. And then then he took the daughter. Of one of the frugalard leaders. She different. She's not a Canaanite. She's a frugalard. Cause keep in mind, Cannon mixed his seed with the frugalards once they went to the mountains. <coughs> once they went to the mountains. Hold on. Okay, let's get back to it, man. We cracking heads and we twisting caps. But keep in mind, uh, this is uh, one of Cannon's wife who he, they made a deal with when they got exiled because keep in mind, these people were pronounced like unclean. So, and, and they were looked at funny because like keep in mind, in nature, everything has got a color, got melatonin. Right in nature, everything got melatonin. But in, uh, like I said, if you see like, if you see like a white a, a albino deer, that's rare. If you see an albino snake, albino tigers, different albino animals, white mouses, you really don't never see white mouses in in nature. He's a, a laboratory engineer. So, uh, albino back then was looked at weird. So these people they went off to themselves in the mountains and became living in the lowlands. 
right? And uh, keep in mind the frugal lodge, which is Yaku's drafted beans from the Hindus. Look at the hair texture. That the same. That the same people. They was already mixing in, but these. This is the daughter of the leader of these frugal lords who was given to Canaan as a, a peace treaty to, to make with these people. And they, they began mixing in with these uh, people. So some of the Canaanites are uh, mixed with the frugal lords. The Canaanites mixed with the frugal lords. Right? All right. Here's one, another uh, brother. The Archites. Right? It's what they look like. Look at the texture of the hair. They ain't got the complete, they got they don't got the complete woolly hair, but they don't got the complete straight hair neither, because they mix, right? With the uh with the different uh tribes, right? The dog hair, look at the dog hair. Right? So these are some of the sons of Inky, great great grandsons of Inky. All right. These are uh what some of what they look like, the Canaanites. Look at the curly hair texture. Right, these are the people that's in Jew, uh, over in Israel right now. Right, that they, they call themselves Jewish people. That means they like the Jews, uh, but they and they are really descendants of Inky, right? These people that I'm showing you from uh, Noah. All right, look at the texture of the hair and look at the texture of the hair. We got them right on the money. All right, it's what they look like. The head type. In Turkey, look at the texture of the hair. All right, we're breaking this down. Okay, so you may see people uh, when Israel look like this guy, Yigash, one of the sons of Canaan. Well, he see he got the dog hair. All right, so one of the sons came out dog skinned it, right? One of the sons came out dog skinned it. So you see, uh, you might see some Israelites, uh, these, they're not really the Israelites, they're Jewish people. There's a difference between Israelites and Jewish people. The people that say they, the Jewish, they, they really, uh, the Canaanites. And then the people, the, the real Israelites are the Afar people. Sabines. All right, so that's what they look like. His, uh, seed. All right. And I say Sodom, uh, Sodom got destroyed, but this is what they see look like. They look more like the Roman type, but see, their hair ain't all the way, way, uh, all the way straight, and it ain't all the way nappy. But it's like an in between because they got the Canaanite. The Canaanite had the woolly hair, right? So these are descendants of Inky. All right, that's what they look like over in uh, Israel. They might see him look like this. He had descended the Inky. See what I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? Once it once we figure it out, we're gonna realize that hey, we all uh, the same people. We all the descendants of these gods or these anarchies. It's, it's, it's people that think they white. You're not really white. Some of y'all are more, a lot of y'all are Canaanites who are the same family as him, who goes back right to no uh Inky, all the way back to a new. The God that you're talking about. But just want these uh, other tribes to try to put themselves over other tribes to make themselves look better. Uh, make themselves look more like the chosen people. Right? So look at his hair. Look how his is curly. Look at the lows. Right? We're showing you what these people look like. These are people over in uh, these Canaanites. Okay? All right, these are people called uh, the Quakers, the Jebusites. These are the people that's uh, in Jerusalem right now. Jebusites, descendants of Inky. That's why they wear the beard. Keep in mind, the beard is the the covenant with Inky. And uh, in and in, uh, in um, Enlil. Okay, they go the beard. They wear in the beard. See, look at them. It's all the sons of uh of Canon. What they look like. Now uh Java, uh Javan, he's a son of Jephet, right? But he married a daughter of Canon. 
because Kenny had 11 sons and one daughter. So Javan, the son of Jafat, married uh, into the family of Kenny and produced another type of race called the Black Irish, the Java Man. The Java Man is the Black Irish. They really are Nubians mixed with Canaanites. These, and they call themselves the Black Irish, right? Here they go right here. So this is what some of the black Irish look like. They really newbie. They really uh, Canaanites and Nubians. They really, we, they really just tend as an Inky. It, like all y'all just send as an Inky. Check this out. Now these are uh, sons of Jafet too. The Ashkenazis. They they won't call themselves Jewish too, but. Like I say, they descendants of Inky as well. The beer is the giveaway. All right. These people, uh, now these people are another type of people that came in and mixed in uh, from extraterrestrial beings coming down from the Adabarian clan. They mixed in. With the seed, uh, with Gomer, the seed Gomer, the sons of Gomer, and became known as the Germans. And then they laid claim to saying they Jewish people too from the uh, going to the Canaanites. But they're not really Canaanites. You, you could tell from the hair texture, right? They, these some of these people they're not really Canaanites. I right, notice uh the feds on these boys, the uh Terry Bush in Turkey. Fed City. All it, right? Going to uh Morocco. We better get into that. To Gama. Right, so this is what these people look like. Uh we want to just give you an idea. So these are Albanos, right? Is it, okay, so Cannon had the woolly hair. All right, we talk we getting into who are the Hicksos. Right? But Cannon had the woolly hair. These people on ain't the people that came back into ancient Kemet. Keep in mind, shout out to my uh white folks, man. White folks and mentors, man. The real uh the real white folks. But he ain't right, he albano. Look at him. That's why if you listen to him talk, he's like, oh, yeah, this dude right here street here from the hood. Because he really he really a, a Nubian. He just albino. See? All right, now we're getting into, remember, uh, Yaku's drafted beans, the Frugalords. All right, so these are the Frugalords. Because we're getting into who are the, uh, the Hicksos, but we got to break all this down first. All right, so the frugal lords are the, the beings that were drafted out by Yaku through the Hindus, the dark skinned Hindus. These beings lived under the mountains in uh, the Caucasus Mountains, where, where um, Cannon went to dwell up in Georgia, that area after the flood, after Noah's uh, ship landed on Mount Aberrat. Cannon went to go live. Uh, in what they call in Georgia today, were the, at the base of uh, uh, the Caucasus Mountains, and then that's when he ran it. They ran into these beings, these Yakuz beings who were living in the caves, the cave man, the Neanderthal, the uh, the uh, the frugal lords, and the, like I said, the leader of the frugal lords to make a deal with the Canaanites gave his daughter to Cannon, and Cannon gave some of his people to these frugal lords so they can mix. And make these hybrid children. That's what this uh Billy the Billy Woodricks and all that's about. Right? And so these Canaanites, the ones that had this mother, let me show you. This is this is uh his this was his daughter right here. The the, the Canaanites that got this mother, his this lady as their mother is mixed with the uh the frugal lords. She was a frugal lord prince, princess. All right, so let's go back. And look at the sons. Okay, let's blow this up. Okay. 
Her name. Okay. So let's look at her sons. That was her sons. All right, so this this particular tribe was mixed with Frugalords, the Hittites. They mixed with Frugalords. This uh, Sodom mixed with Frugalords. Uh, the Zemarites. Zemarites are uh, mixed with Frugalords. Right? So these beings right here mixed with Frugalords. They Frugalords mixed with Canaanites. So a couple of the tribes. Okay. Okay. But the Horites. I want to say the Horites are the uh, a mix down from these elder barons because they had red hair. So he took a uh, she had red hair, and green eyes. They they took so she uh, she was from the elder barons. So she wasn't really a Canaanite neither. She was the elder baron. So one of his wives was his sister, and then the other wife was his was a uh, frugal or extraterrestrial wife, and then another wife was the Arabana of uh, elder baron's wife. Right, so they part out of Baron, and he's be he'll be like uh, from the sister of Cannon. He'll be from the Frugalor mix. He'll be uh, part uh, out of Baron. He'll be the full blooded uh, Canaanites, and uh, he would be. They'll be part out of Baron. These uh, Sodom. They'll be out of barons. And he'll be frugal lords. Mixed with the frugal lords. That'll be uh this is a, so yeah, that'll be the original wife. That's a bit that'll be the original wife. It'll be mixed with uh out of barons. So the Canaanites mixed with the out of barons and the frugal lords. Right. Now keep in mind these people are still, like he said in Genesis chapter 10, that is uh Genesis chapter 9, 25, as like it says, uh curse be canon, a servant, a servant shall he be to his brothers. He shall be a servant. So he these guys are the servants to the other son to their brothers. Who is the brothers of these beings? Right? The sons of Canaan. The sons of uh the sons of Ham, the other sons of Ham, which would be the, the Libyans, the Mesbraim, and Cush. That'd be the brothers. But it's one particular group we're finna get on. Okay, hold on, let me talk about this. Now, now we now we can get to the part of this this mix after that all those mixes was taking place and these people the Canaanites right group a group of them became known as the Jacobins and they really was uh, uh some, most of them some of them were dark skinned like we showed you in the twelve tribes of Canaan and they they give you their storyline where they tell you they came into ancient Kemet right and they were goat herders. They were goat herders. And when they came into ancient Kemet, they told it, they give you the storyline of this Abraham and all this, right? And about how Abraham lied to the Pharaoh and told Sarah it wasn't his wife and all this stuff, right? But these beings were allowed to come into ancient Kemet and set up by land on the outskirts because they they people were starving. They people were starving in their land. Their land was it was a famine in their land. That really was placed on them by another uh the Anarchies. Keep in mind the Anarchy storyline is playing out with this too with uh Inky and Enlil. 
So supposedly these people, they, it was a famine in their land. They had to come to ancient Kemet, and they brought their goats. They were goat herders. Now, when they came into ancient Kemet, the storyline plays out that these people, the Tamahus, the Hyksos, had their own leader named Apapis or Apap. Right, and they want, and they came in really to take over ancient Kemet. Okay, hold on, let me show you this land. This is another. This is the land right here. This is the land right here, the Great Caucasus Mountain. Now, uh, cannon set up right around here. Right, and in these mountains, it's like a lot of caves and stuff. Right. And that's this is the cave system that uh the frugal lords live in. Right? And Ashtar Command got bases set up right here. Right? It's all gonna make make sense later. Right, here's another picture of it. We already did tapes on this called Journey from Caucasus Mountains. And the Canaanites and all that. We got more tapes on it, right? In the files, right? Okay, so these people came into ancient Kemet. Let's get to that part. Keep in mind, we was already almost probably like a type two civilization in ancient Kemet before these people came. Oh yeah, here's another picture of the uh Yeah, here's another picture of what the ancient uh Egyptians look like. This is Inky Seed. The uh, Afar people, the Magi warriors. These were the Egyptian warriors. They trained their mind too. You can look at the hair style. They know what time it is, man. They know who these people were. Like I said, we're keeping it clean. But the Jacobins come on into ancient Kemet because they really weren't civilized. They really didn't know how the knowledge was all in ancient Kemet about building uh, the fine arts. Uh, book writing, language, dialect, uh, different food tasted just like uh, America is. Just like America is where people want to come to America and come to school and taste, and they got all different types of food, all different types of culture mixed in. They got all different types of businesses and stuff like that. Well, ancient Kemet was set up like that. So everybody was coming to ancient Kemet to learn and get books and get scholars and knowledge and all this, right? Because then Gazita, Tahuti, Inki's son, and Amen, and really it was Osiris, and then Gazita, because Amen really didn't want the people to get too smart. Because he looked at them uh, for a while, because it's the ego, he looked at them like they were just pets. And really he was mad about uh, Osiris and then Gazita and them teaching the humans. Right? Ra. All right, but we'll get into that later. But uh, we got to talk about these Hyksos, okay? Um, so they came into ancient Kemet, and they wanted to learn, and, and really they were starving uh, seven years of bad luck or whatever they had because of the Anarchy's plague in their place. So they, uh, they, they came to ancient Kemet. Because keep in mind, some of these people, uh, they, they still descendants of Inki from Canaan, right? So Inky's still looking out for his people in a way. So we we get down to it. We can talk about the Hyksos, but the Hyksos still connected. We still connected. Everybody's still connected. But like people might disagree and say, oh, yeah, we ain't into these people or these people. Yeah, man, we all family. There's no number but one, like Anu said. Once we get through Trace doing all this stuff, we're going to figure out that we all still connected. There ain't no racism and all that. That's why I told y'all. The Piscean age is going out. Once the truth is told, the Piscean age is going out. Somebody's got everybody fighting against each other because of who uh saying that they separate and they different people. And now uh we but we 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 are we separated into different tribes, but we trace back to the same root. Whether you uh Jewish or Hebrew, Israelite, whatever you calling yourself, y'all the same people, man. I'm telling you. Uh, we'll get it to Queen Isabel, uh, is Elizabeth, I mean, Queen Victoria. Okay, so they was goat herders. So keep in mind with the, the Masonic goat 
in the shake and out they, they always working with the goat. This come from this Hick this Hickso story about how they were goat herders. And the masonry is was the, the craft for Amin Ra, uh the craft with Tahuti, uh the art of Tahuti, where uh they were teaching how to build and lay stone. Because the Nigazita is the one that built the pyramids. So the order was set up at the Mel Chesedek Armin uh, the, in the halls of Amenti on the knowledge. And uh, the, the Anarchies called these, ta- they had a ta- uh, couple of tablets they called the keys. And what these were were tablets uh, or crystals, uh, information stored on crystals with, about the knowledge of building different types of technology and crafts and different types of structures. And the, uh, they call these the keys or the me's. They call these the me tablets. And um, a Nana ended up getting a hold of them. Though. We'll get into that on another topic. Probably we'll go in on the uh, Anunnaki question and answer. Or we'll go in just on the whole tape on uh, our Nana. Right? But these tablets will later uh, recover and Tahuti and Ningazita, uh, Tahuti, who is Ningazita, and uh, 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 Saw got a hold of these tablets, Damuzi, and they began to start releasing some of the information to the teaching the humans in ancient Kemet. So that's how the schools got set up over there. But the, actually, the schools over here in America are actually older than the ancient Kemet stories because uh, at first, Tahuti came over here. They sent uh, Ningazita over to the Great Beyond, which is in America, where he set up the city of the gods and all that, the schools to start teaching the humans on this side first. And then once the reptilians attacked uh, Atlantis, the landing pad, that's when they, they lifted up in the ship and took the uh, the books and the tablets, the Mies, over to ancient Kemen and buried them under the Sphinx. Right? And the government know about it. They've been digging over there for the longest since, the, since they found the Emerald Tablets. Well, to who he tell them that he buried his ship under the Sphinx. Right? So that's, that's the storyline of that. But so we're just getting to the point where ancient Kemet became a, a a learning center or like a college center for education and culture and different things that were going on there, just like in America. But we we uh, got these goat herders, these Hyksos, who come in and want to learn, and they don't want to go through all the the rigmarole. They just want to come in and just absorb the information real fast. They was they said they was there for four hundred and thirty years in the ancient Kemet, right? They tell us, and they they whole game was to come in and, and get educated. At the same time, save their people from we save their people from starvation, according to what they said, right? They were starving. They sent Joseph in who they sold into slavery. They sold their own brother into slavery, these people. And then they come in and then they start to uh, herd the goats. They were goat herders. They start to go herd the goats on the outskirts of town. And eventually work their way into town and try to learn information on the building and things. Right? Everybody get into it, man. We cracking heads and twisted cap. All right, we got about 15 minutes. We got to uh, cover a, lot, so a couple more things. All right, we're probably going to have to run it over 15 more minutes, probably about 25 more minutes. So we got to break down this part. So they can't uh, keep in mind, we had the building and we had degrees. Uh, we had degrees you had to go through uh, in the craft. Uh, they termed it later on as fellow craft or uh, inter apprentice, which is the first degree second degree fellow craftsman and then the third degree is master mason in the building right and keep in mind most of all your sororities take after this so while they was in ancient Kemet and these are the Hyksos and they they make it these people really are the uh, ancient Egyptians. These people really are the Egyptians, right? These uh, Hyksos. They the burnt face. The burnt face, right? They're not the real people of that land, though. But they are the real burnt face. They, and they, we call them the Hyksos invaders. The Hyksos invaders, the Tamahus. Right? They came into the land to take over. They only took over one part of the land, which is Mentis. 
Hey, shout out Dr. Ben, man, because Dr. Ben brought a lot of this information, tools, right? So we connected all the master teachers' information. We, we ain't just take it from one person. We connected all the master teachers' information. Okay? That's what they know. That's what they don't want you to know. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, where were we? Yeah, so we got the Hicksos. They wanted to learn. They, 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 they leader wanted to learn the master's key, the master's password. They leader. He go. They leader right here, Pappas. Right, and Rod said this really was uh, Enlil, one of Enlil avatars. Uh, they came in to try to rule up, try to take over ancient Kemet. Uh, he said that uh, a pap is really was because it, it, it got the same storyline of him hearing the hippos, right? With Enlil. Okay. So this dude wanted to rule ancient Kemet, but he needed that password that we had in, in the in the order to rule. But the ancient Egyptian, uh, we the uh, ancient Kemet. If you want a Nubian, uh, you can't be part of the craft of Amen Ra. You can't go all the way up in the craft and be a master. If you don't got, if you not don't got the the new the melanite, if you ain't a melanite, the melanite trait coming out of the black woman's lodge, which is the womb, black woman's womb, you ain't born out of the black woman's womb. You can never be a master in the uh in the craft of Amen, right? But D. Cav won't. They, we only let him get up to fellow craftsmen. So this dude, uh, after a while, this dude sent three ruffins, three assassins. To uh Kona, the master who at that time name was Sukenti Reto. All right, let's get that. All right, here you go right here. He uh he pointing saying, Get those ends. Get those guys. You know how they do. Okay. Yeah, we already know what time it is. Look at this right here. Is the uh shout out uh the master teacher Ash Rock Crazy for putting in that work boots on the ground. Uh, he's a student of Dr. Ben, uh, and I'm one of the students of Ash Rockwazy, right? I study study with uh, Ash Rockwazy information. He's one of the most, he's my favorite teacher on the ancient comedic science. And like I say, he's one of the students of Dr. Ben, right? And Dr. Clark and uh, several other ancient comedic old school scholars that you might have never heard of that he was under, but mainly Dr. Ben. Right, so we we see that they already wearing the apron in ancient Kemet. We can get it back into that. You see the lion's paw right here. They pointed that out. That's where they stole the uh, lion's paw from. Ancient Kemet, the master's grip. Right, they full of. You see, they got the white skit. They wear this. Uh, they, they call it bagalia in ancient. Uh, they call it bagalia in the lodge. But you know, we the white skit uh, was like the uh, part of our bagalia that we wore. In the craft, you know what I'm saying? Right, we blew it up for you right there. They they steal it, family. They steal it. They didn't they didn't been steal it. They didn't been stole stole it all from Ancient Kemet, man. All right, so let's get it. Okay, this one here gonna probably be longer than I thought because I gotta go over this. All right, so you already know about Leah Kuz, Drafted Beans. We already told you that these people are part of these Hyksos. All right, so you, eventually there was a master who was building a great temple. But he got killed in the middle of building that great temple by three three ruffins, three assassins sent by uh, Apap, the ruler of the Hyksos. Right, and they play this storyline out in the lodge. But they telling you about some high Roman Biff. They're telling you about high Roman Biff, but it's really was the uh these Hicksos attacking Sukenta Ray's hoe for the master's key, and then he wouldn't give it up. So they bust him upside his head three times, and then they buried him in a shallow grave on the east side of the temple, and they covered him with uh rocks. Y'all reenact this temple in your lodge, and you don't know. You take you talking about some high Roman Biff. It wasn't no high Roman Biff. They made that part up and replaced because they didn't want you to know this storyline goes way back in ancient Kemet. 
actually happened. Right? It's really a, a story of the craft for Amon Ra, the three ruffins getting attacked. It's it's really from ancient Kemet, man. Now look, uh, they tell you about Hiram Biff getting it, but they can't show you his school. But I can show you the school of Sukente Ray To, who was hitting the head. They go to school right here. They go to school right here. Now show me, show me Hiram and Biff school. <laughs> yeah, you can't show. I can show you. Look, he's hit three times. One, two, three. And the 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 uh, the, the storyline and the the the. the uh, the holes are consistent with him being hit in the head, and then they didn't say, but they, but the, but these Hicksos wanted to steal the storyline and say that there was them, so they made up this story about Solomon, who was really Ramesses. Solomon is really Ramesses the second, and they stole some of the storyline of M. Hotet uh, of, of, of I'm him Hotet the third. I'm him Hotet the third. They stole some of the storyline about the baby. About the dude bringing the baby and uh the two women had the baby and they was arguing about the baby and then uh solomon said cut him in half and the one said no give him to her that storyline is the storyline that of him uh hotel the third i'm in hotel the third so they still not our storylines family and trying to cross them up with this uh hicks uh thing but well, this is uh, Sukente Ray Toe's school right here. He was hit three times in the head. And he had two sons that revenged his death. That started the war against the Hyksos. And keep in mind, they put y'all through, or when you go through these sororities and these Masonic orders, they put you through these slave rituals. We're about to get into that, that they uh, that we did to them when we chased them out of ancient Kemet after this, uh, this, this knock, this knock, this knock. And they still did bump straight. All right, so the two brothers, we're going to show you the two brothers. Let's see if it, uh, it was two brothers, Ogmos, the second of the first thing, and then Cogmos. Hold on, let's get these two brothers. We had the pictures in here. We know we had it in here. Okay. Hey, hit that like, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. All right, here we go, right here, here we go. Let's get it. Let's crack heads. Let's twist caps. All right. So, these are the two brothers, Pharaoh uh, Cogmos and Pharaoh Armos. This is a little brother, this is the big brother. Right, they were twa, they were twa mans, right? The short beans. You already know the storyline about uh, he wanted to start, uh, he wanted to take over uh, Upper Egypt, the uh, a Papas, uh, Enlil. Uh, so he kept saying that he kept on hearing these uh, these hippos, and they were disturbing him. So he wanted to make, he kept on making a complaint. Really, he wanted to get that hippo pun moves so he can invade this uh, upper Egypt, which is really lower, uh, like the lower part, because you got to think about the Nile flow up, right? We'll show you a map of that. But the one, this one brother, uh, Cogmos, once they killed his father, this he started the war to exile the uh, these Hyksos out of ancient Kemet. And he, 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 he uh, eventually he got killed. He fought a good war against them and, and got a lot of modern ancient Kemet, but eventually he got killed. Then his younger brother, Ogmos, took over and started fighting against these Hyksos. And eventually he ran, they rounded them up, all of them up, and, and killed the Pappas uh, to revenge his father's death. And he rounded all the, uh, the Hyksos up. And they, let me show you what they uh how they rounded them up. <coughs> Hold on. Oh, I'm showing you how they rounded them up. Hold on. 
All right, here we go right here. All right, so what they did is they cable towed all, like they rounded all the Hicksos up. They took all their metals, everything that they had that, that was uh, valuable, and then they cable towed them all together, blindfolded them, rolled their pants leg up because they were going to grid, they were going to march them across the burning sand. That's why we call this tape across the burning sand. And they talk about this in the Masonic order. Across the burning sand, etc. Right. Um. So they script them. We script them down. Gave them some raggedy clothes. Uh, tied them up. Cable told them, blindfolded them, so they they went and see what they was going, where they were going, and then we led them across the burning sand. And so they they do you like this, you uh, Masons, when y'all going to the lodge. They do y'all like this where they cable told you blindfold. You don't even know what this storyline is about. That's about the Hyksos getting chased out of ancient Kemet by Ogmos. And they marched them in circles with blindfolds on so they wanted to see where they was going. And then when they got them to the caves, to the back to the Caucasus Mountains, they took the blindfold off. They were they 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 light. They saw the light, right? The three great lights. <laughs> right? And then when they took the cable toe off their neck, their neck was red, so they started calling them red neck. How they get the name Redneck? These Hicksos. Right? So the whole, your whole Masonic ritual about the builder getting hit in the head is stolen from Sukenta Reto. And then this part is about them being chased out of ancient Kemet. Back to the caves. And they was keeping in mind they were goat herders. So they rode the goat. On them to see how his feet red because if they on across the burning sand, check black and white flow and all this blue. This right here is blue, but you know they got the black and white check of blue flow. But this is the riding the goat. They they tase and uh, uh, taunt these new recruits talking about riding the goat, and feeding the goat. But they don't know that that's connected back with these Hicksos who were goat herders who had to ride their goat to keep and feed their goat. Because keep in mind. They had to uh, water, feed, uh, get water and food to their goat. But in the desert, that's very scarce. So they had to get a goat food supplies and water supplies out of their hand in the desert. Keep their goats alive. Right? So they, it's all connected with the goat, riding the goat, all that, feeding the goat. It's all dealing with the Hicksos goat herders. All right, what else we want to cover? Like I said, we got them up out of there. But eventually, the, uh, you got to watch the Moors tapes. You got to watch the Moors tapes to get the other part. Well, the Moors, after like the 15 BC, this went 1500 BC around that time when we chased them out. And then later on in 900 BC, that's when the Moors started bring, uh, going and capturing the Caucasian women and bringing them out of the caves. But they play this storyline out in the in the uh in the lodge. So we want to just bring that to you, man. Who are the Hicksos? They are goat herders who got kicked out of ancient Kemet. Right? What I'm trying to, I'm trying to see with us. So all your Masonic uh secrets, it's really rituals uh dealing around that storyline of the Hicksos. Okay. Look, got LL Cool J with his pants lit. He don't know what that means. The sand can get in, anybody that live close to the beach or haven't been on sand, they know sand can get up in there everywhere. It'll get in your shoes, your socks, your drawers, your ears, your pocket. Sand get everywhere. I'm telling you. Man, how much time we got left, man? We about to get her to get up out of here. We'll probably, uh, but we want to just bring that to you, man. Who are the Hyksos? The Hyksos are invaders of ancient Kemet. And then they now they even taking over the, the storyline of making everybody white in ancient Kemet on the TV. Now, by right, because they are ancient burnt face, ancient, they are the Egyptians. When they pulled a the movie out talk, talking about the Egyptians, we shouldn't really get mad no more because the, the Egyptians are not the original people of that land. They are the people who invaded the land. 
we the the, the uh are far people, the Twa man, the Dogons, the each the each uh Ethiopians, the Kushites, the Libyans, the Foots are the original people. Right? They are the Canaanites can lay claim to the land too as well because they part of Inky Seed. So it's all connected. When we get down to it, like I said, we're gonna get down to no num there's no number one, one like uh Anu said. Right, but we're about to get up out of here, man. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be coming back with more and more. We're gonna be coming back with more, man. Hit that like. Peace. Shalom alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Hotel. Ashug. Divine love throughout the boundless universe to all. Wadoop.